my channel if you are new here hello how are you my name is jade rebecca i say that in every single video kind of finally getting sick of my intro and um, in today's video oh, why am i so hypergenic hypergenic hyper hyperactive that's the word <laughs> in today's video i'm going to be doing uh questions my tiktok fans followers um, have wanted to know about me or want to know or just questions in general off them um, so I did a video on TikTok and asked them to send me in some questions and I did get a few and I have them here on my lapity top and um, I got them sent to me just because I don't have the app on my phone anymore for a while just for a while it's just a little break don't kill me don't come after me I am sorry okay right okay sorry too hyper can't say the word like oh right okay we'll, we'll we'll just get into this video we'll just get into first question is do you think Sligo will ever make it ever make it in the all ireland final 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 date final um i don't know to be honest because i don't watch any football or gaelic i just don't and if you're not <coughs> if you're not Irish okay so the next question is who's your favorite singer um my favorite singer Oh, that's a hard one. That is a hard one. Who is my favorite singer? Um, I probably have to say Adele because I grew up listening to Adele a lot. Talk about being depressed all the time. That was me. So I was just a child. I was sitting there and go, <laughs> I can relate to Adele and Adele like fucking twenty something at the time singing about how her husband left her or something or her boyfriend because she I don't know just left her. No, I'm either. Yeah, I can relate. I don't. Yeah. Next question was, uh, who was your idol slash favorite Irish TikToker? Your favorite TikToker? Uh, my idol when I was first starting off on TikTok was probably I have a few, um, but probably would have to be Jacob Donegan. Jacob, I looked up to him because of how strong how amazing, how inspirational he was and is um, and how he just shows that being transgender isn't holding him back, that he is killing it, he is just amazing and in person he's lovely too. Uh, also, um, another person I think is amazing is Rachel, uh, I think it's Rachel O'Sullivan. Um, I don't know, she's just very, I don't know, she gives you a bit of motivation and I love her TikToks and yeah. So it's probably between them two. And also, can't forget me old friend Jamie. Jamie, love him loads. Shout out to you, Jamie. He was the one that discovered me and introduced me to all the other TikTokers. So if it wasn't for Jamie, I probably wouldn't be where I am on TikTok today. So thank you, Jamie. Uh, would you ever do another meet and greet? I really want to do a meet and a little um I really want to do another meet and greet um because the last one I was only there for half an hour I didn't really get to stay long um there were so many people so many lovely people come up to me and asked for photos autographs and I did appreciate that on and then my day and um, so yeah I do want to do another meet and greet and hopefully there will be another meet and greet before the end of the year um, and if there is, I will let everyone know straight away. Um, <clears throat> what is your biggest dream? My biggest dream would probably to become a singer, a professional singer. I've been doing singing since I was six and uh, I don't know, I'm just, like I love singing. Like it's just something I'm in love with. Um, but other than that, if I couldn't do that, I'd probably, I don't know what I do to be honest. It's just singing is such a big dream of mine, and I'm hoping one day 
Thanks tractors, yeah, appreciate that. And I'm hoping one day it will, you know, happen. How many times did you dye your hair? Uh, four times? I dyed it recently, I dyed it a kind of purpley black kind of, kind of mine's sort of like a plum, plum colour. Uh, before that I dyed it a really really dark brown, uh, it kind of looked black, uh, and yeah I just done that, then two colours, two times each. Um, who is your favourite rapper? My favourite rapper, I think everyone has a certain favourite rapper, but I grew up listening to him, which was Eminem. I grew up listening to him because my dad's a big fan of him and a lot of people in my family actually really, really like him. My stepmother loves her. Loves him. Oh my God. My stepmother, which is my mum, um, really, really loves him. And they all listened to him as well when they were younger. So, you know, I kind of love him, even though he's not as good as he was, I still prefer his music to some other rappers, to be quite honest with you all. What age did you start social media? For me, I was never really told I wasn't allowed to start a social media account. So the age I did start my social media was 12, which I think at the time was an okay age. I was in sixth class in school, so I was finishing primary school and going into secondary school. So I think it was a grand age to start social media and my auntie helped me set up my Facebook page um, and I still have the same Facebook page that I made in 2013 I think it was. No, 2015, or 2014, no it was 2014, 2014, 2014, that's when I started. Um, what do you think of your supporters? I think my supporters are absolutely phenomenal. They're just so amazing. And some of you have so many inspirational stories that you have contacted me about or have wanted to know advice on, which I do appreciate. And I didn't think I was such a big influence to anyone until I started getting messages. And they are beautiful messages. Um, and just seeing how amazing these are supporting me right now with not being able to post on TikTok to get my health and my mental health uh, correct um, is amazing and it makes me kind of emotional that I have so much support and I don't think I'm that big. I don't act like, oh yeah, I'm famous or I'm big because I know I'm not famous. I know I'm not um, like a big. I just know I'm not big, but for the kids and teenagers that do support me, and anyone else that does, like I do really, really appreciate it means so much. Uh, what made you have an, the idea to start social media? I think it was more around my friend group, they all had social media, um, and I kind of wanted to jump on the trend and jump on social media. But for me, when I was younger, it was more of just um, Facebook and Kick. I don't know if anyone remembers Kick, but it was more Facebook and Kick and Instagram, but you'd only use Instagram on your laptop or computer. It was never on your phone, really. It was more just Kick and Facebook. What's your biggest achievement? My biggest achievement is getting to audition for the X Factor twice. Um, even though I didn't get through, it was just it was one of my goals in life was to audition for it. And now that it's not happening ever again, I'm just happy I got the opportunity. Opportunity opportunity to go and do that. What inspired you to do YouTube? Um, I don't know, I think it's kind of, I wanted to help other people at the start of my, when I first started YouTube. Again, I'm not big on YouTube at all, but uh, I think I'm able to talk more with people from TikTok on YouTube. Um, I want my YouTube to grow a bit more um, because I have so many stories so many like advice videos and just experience videos to tell you guys and I kind of want more help on making that known that it's okay to go through certain things but there is other people that do have gone through that and you can talk to them too 
butcher if you keep it quiet you're not gonna know like for me I kept so many uh, stories quiet that not a lot of people know um, and because of that they take advantage of certain things and say certain things that they don't know I have gone through um, but yeah and I want to do more videos like that most famous person that follows you again that would probably be Jacob Donegan did you get into TikTok and how did you get famous? Uh, I got into TikTok when it was musically and that's when I started it uh, back in 2016 that's how long I've been on it um, I did I don't think I'm famous but I did gain my followers more last year 2019 and a bit of 18 but mostly in 2019 when I was doing more inspirational videos and kind of health videos what age are you? I'm 17 and I'm 18 in June. Have you ever got bullied? And if so, how many, how did you deal with it? I was bullied a lot in first year in my old school and in sixth class in my old school. It was a lot to handle because I was going through certain things. Um, I was dealing with home life. I was dealing with certain things. That was just a lot at the time. Um, and bullying was something I struggled with a lot. Uh, I was bullied all the time, every day I'd go into school, there'd be a certain group of girls that would pick on me, say things, push me around, kick me, trip me, hurt me all the time, they'd always have something to say. And in primary school I was always the outcast, I was always made fun of because of certain things I went through. At in my home life and um, certain things I dealt with at home um, but how I dealt with that situation it was hard as well I didn't want to speak about it so I kind of kept it to myself for a while and then I got sick of it when I was constantly being bet or punched or kicked and uh, I had to leave that school um, and leave certain things at home um, and move to a different county um, and live with my other parent I'm not saying go do that no way am I saying go move to a different county to stop it talk to someone I didn't do that so talk to someone talk to an adult you trust and um, talk to the school talk to as many people as you can make it known what is happening to you do not hold back and um, that's something I did I kept it to myself um, until it was too late do not do that speak up let people know what is going on do not hold back do not stick up for yourself if they hurt you you know voice your opinion tell them to stop leave you alone don't just make sure a parent make sure the school knows make sure you speak up do not hold back because that's something i done and i regret doing that i shouldn't have done that um do you have a crush Oof. uh no i don't i don't have a crush crushed me no I said in my last video that I did have a crush and that crush crushed me let me tell you that so no I don't so yeah they are the questions I was given off all you beautiful amazing people um <clears throat> I hope you did enjoy this video again if you want to see more videos where I sit down and talk or story times about certain aspects or certain things I went through please let me know down below in the comments if you want to see my video or a video with my mother in it please let me know in the comments and i will do a tag with her um but yeah and leave any questions you have down below if you do want to see that video with me and my mom um, and i will sure do it so thank you for all the love and support from everyone from tiktok and i will see you in my next video bye everyone <laughs>